Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FB Games. We are back once again with some more of the um, Euro 2016 simulation videos. And of course today we have Poland versus Northern Ireland. Let me just fix the camera slightly. I don't think I can get all the numbers in on the screen, so that's going to be the best. But uh, it's Poland versus Northern Ireland. This is the first match of Group C. And uh, Poland have the strongest squad with uh, Lewandowski. But you guys know that Will Grigg is on fire. And he could be on fire here for Northern Ireland. But will that be the case? We'll find out as we head into this match between Poland and Northern Ireland. The referee is Lasse Lagerov. Professional clear, six minutes. Let's get into it. And here we are. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit, there we go, that should be okay. <laughs> Stad Velodrome here, so three French stadiums, I can't remember two of them, there is one other one but I can't remember what it is, which is kind of bad. But anyway, Lewandowski going to be captain in Poland, I believe it, I can't remember who it is who's captain in uh Northern Ireland, I believe it's Macaulay, the centre back. And Poland getting their national anthem played. And strong Polish squad. Very strong Northern Irish squad as well. I might make a custom chant with the Will Griggs on fire music thing. <laughs> so it's like, Will Griggs on fire in every Northern Irish match in the Euros. But I don't think Northern Ireland, in my opinion, are going to get very far. They've not got a terribly difficult group. Well, I guess they've got Germany, but Ukraine, I'm not sure how Ukraine will do. Germany, a pretty difficult team. Germany probably won the favourites to win the whole tournament. But who knows, Kuchariak had a good season in BBVA, I believe he is the captain, although it doesn't look like he's wearing the captain's armband and he's not. It's, oh, it's Sean Davis, the captain for uh, Northern Ireland here. You see the starting 11 here, very strong starting 11 from Poland, Fabianski and Go, Glick and Piszczek, there's a few names I recognise there, and uh, Lewandowski going to be at the front line with Milik. And as you can see, Northern Ireland putting out one of their best squads as well. Will Grigg will be up by himself. Will he be on fire today? Who knows? Let's see. As Poland kick off this match here at the Stad Velodrome. And Magdzinski, Kuchowiak now. Try to play out to the wing. And it's come to Milik here. Peace check. Brunt's been taken down off the ball. And Evans, for a bit of a late tackle there, it's a good position here, Millet could get it in to one of his teammates, Kuchawiak, looking for it, Rybus, Carroll with a good header, I don't know if it's Rybus or Rybus, uh, Carroll with a good save, sorry, not a good header, Grigg, Will Grigg's on fire, he's been on fire in the league for Wigan, but will he be on fire here for Northern Ireland, he's cast it to McGinn, McGinn or McGinn, I don't know. Sean Davis, the captain, breaking through. Oh, it's a very good save by Fabianski. Sean Davis just managing to get past the post defence with ease. And it's almost 1 0 here to Northern Ireland. And no wood. Going to be taking the corner. It's come to McCauley here. It's been headed clear. Bad. Davis once again. Kuchawiak there this time. To stop Davis from getting in on goal. Milik now going to attack for uh, Poland here. Looking for the counter attack but bad. Very good covering. And Sean Davis. Spots Will Grigg. And Will Grigg testing Fabianski. It's going to be another corner for Northern Ireland. Grigg didn't know how much time he had there. Probably not much regardless. It will be another corner here. Norwood. 
Nice curling corner. Comes to, well, it was going to Dallas. It was headed away. Norwood looking for a second bite of a cherry. And Sakala gets it away for Poland. Magzinski has got Grosicki in space. Back to Magzinski um, for a deflection off Norwood. It's come to Piszczek. Very well known. Borussia Dortmund right back. And Baird now picking up the pieces. Will Grigg needs to hold the play here. It's a very nice, very nice vision here. Norwood trying to get through, but Peshko has got it for Poland now, and it's going to come to Lewandowski. McLaughlin, brilliant interception to stop the ball from going to Robert Lewandowski. There, that would have most likely been one 0 had Lewandowski got the ball. Lewandowski winning the header, but it's come to McGinn or McGinn Davis, Will Grigg. Try to work some space here for a shot, maybe. Oh, it's tackled by a piece check. Maybe the 1 2 with Davis could have been a more favourable option there. And we're yet to have a 0 0 in this simulation, I believe. It's still 0 0 here. Maybe not for long. Krachowiak. McLaughlin seemed to miss the ball then, and Krachowiak got through. It's wide from the Polish midfielder. Poor take on the shot there. In fact, I'm recording this as uh, the France-Romania game is uh, being played in real life. So I'm wondering how they're getting on in that match. Will Grigg, Sean Davis, tackled by Rybus. Congratulations. It's like Ryback, only Rybus. Krzyzewiak, Johnny Evans, with a good tackle and... Oh, it's Stephen Davis, not Sean Davis. Will Grigg trying to beat Fabianski to the ball. Can't, can't quite do it. I'm getting all these names wrong here. I don't really know a lot of these players. There's a couple of S. Davises I know. So there's Sean Davis and Stephen Davis, and I couldn't remember which one it was. It's Stephen Davis. Will Grigg can't quite get to before McZinski. Rybus to Milik. I'm probably butchering these names here. Krachowiak. Very good tackle. I believe it was by McCauley. And Will Grigg looking to run onto this. It's come to Davis, but Sukala, or Zukala, I don't know how to pronounce it, has cleared it. And Robert Lewandowski now bearing down on the uh, Northern Ireland defence here. McGinn back to Carroll just to make sure. Grigg winning the header. It's come to Stephen Davis. It's a poor tackle from. Was it a poor tackle from Piszczek? I couldn't really tell. But the referees allowed it to go. I couldn't tell if Pichet got any of the ball there or not, but it's come to Milik anyway for Poland. Northern Ireland covering. Will Grigg has taken, well, taken, sorry, too heavy a touch there. It's come to McLaughlin. Will Grigg almost on fire. That's a very good save by Fabianski. Some brilliant play there by McLaughlin. Managing to see it through to Grigg. Try to put it in bottom left. But Fabianski tips it over the bar of his leg. Norwood now. Johnny Evans. Oh, it's not the best of headers from the former Manchester United player. But it was a good attempt, regardless. The ball's come to McCullough here. Now that has been to get another chance here. Will Grigg. Will Grigg. Oh, it's point blank from Fabianski. A point blank save. Will Grigg has had many opportunities to put uh, another one nil up in this game. But he hasn't quite been able to capitalise on Grishiki now. To Milik. Good covering by Evans. And Chris Brunt. McCauley. Oliver Norwood now. Spots McGinn out on the... McGinn out on the right. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I don't know if it's McGinn or McGinn. So I'm going to say McGinn. It's easy to say. Piszczek has controlled it well here on his chest. It's come to Magzinski. Who's found Peshko on the left. Brunt's kept it in play very well. And Dallas now. And on Island. Trying to get past Shikala and he has done. Dallas looking for the cross. It's a pretty good searching ball as well. And Fabianski's dropped it. 
I barely noticed the Fabianski drop that then. But Fabianski's spilling it, but it's cleared away by Poland. Luckily, for the former Arsenal goalkeeper. I would say, like, former big club. I should just say what club they actually play for. Like, Fabianski plays for Swansea, and Johnny Evans plays for West Brom. But still, sounds better when you say the bigger club. Oh, it's very well tipped over by Carroll. I believe that was a Lewandowski header. You see the number nine get into the ball. It was... And tipped over the bar by Carroll again for a Polish corner on the stroke of half time once again. Grushiki. Oh, very good header. And not quite in. I don't know who that was. I mean, I believe it was Sakala, but I'm not 100%. The, the defender, centre back for Poland. And it's going to be cleared here by Carroll, and it's going to be half time. Oh, no, it's not. I'm not sure what the extent of the, in the injury time is in this first half, but can't be much longer now. There we go, of course, when I'm about to attack, it's half time. Nil nil so far in this first Group C game between Poland and Northern Ireland. No, no goals to talk about as yet. A couple of good chances, though. Krzyzewiak messing his lines up there. Johnny Evans messing up the header. We had some close shots towards the end of the first half for both teams. But Carroll with his pod black save on three minutes was pretty good as well. And uh, let's take a quick look at the stats. Northern Ireland with more shots and shots on target. A little less possession. A little less uh, in with the tackling. But uh, more corners and the shot accuracy is more. Pass accuracy kind of the same. So I guess, it's, I guess you could say it's been an even game so far between Northern Ireland and Poland. And all the players look okay, so we're going to head into the second half. Grig and Davis kicking off this time for Northern Ireland. Poland kicked off first half. And McGinn's going to try and hold up early on here. Want to try and get an early early um, lead in the second... Well, a lead early in the second half here. Rai Boos is tackling McLaughlin here. McLaughlin's on many options. He does pick out Stephen Davis. He's turned. And he's taken a shot. Oh, my. The captain... Almost making it 1 0 here. That was incredibly close. It's a shame it didn't quite go in for Davis. That would have been a cool goal to score to open Northern Ireland's Euro goal scoring account. And Peshko now from Piszczek. Piszczek out on the right in some space, but playing towards the middle of the park. Krzyzewiak now to Magzinski. It's hard to pronounce the Polish name sometimes. And Grig, the ball searching for Grig from Davis, and it's not happened. Kuchawiak has picked up the ball here for Poland. McCauley, it's come off Dallas. And Lewandowski almost got through there, but brilliant interception by Johnny Evans. Will Grig, you might as well compare Grig to Lewandowski, probably just as good, even though there's 21 ratings in between them, but still. Kuchawiak. Magzinski, very good tackling. Evans has been a rock in that defence. And Grig may get there. Grig has got there. McGinn. Crossing. Bed. I don't know his first name, probably Chris or something. But Bed has made it 1 0 here to Northern Ireland. And that's going to be a big goal. In Northern Ireland's campaign, a brilliant cross there from McGinn and Baird getting highest to get the header. I believe Scala, or whatever his name was, no it wasn't Scala, oh it was Glick. Glick jumped too early and it gave Baird the opportunity and he took it. Deadlock has been broken after 56 minutes here, Northern Ireland have taken the lead. Magzinski and Milik now 1-2 in it. 1-2-3 in it. And Lewandowski is in pole position to score here. McLaughlin with a beautiful last-ditch tackle. Northern Ireland will be looking to keep uh, keeping the lead here. Magzinski coming off of Poland. On comes Lanetti. A very good punch away by Carroll. Grzycki could get another chance at delivering this in. Instead cuts in. And Sakala, it's just wide. 
from the centre back who stayed up, called for the ball. The header was good, but it's barely past the post. It was almost an equaliser there for Poland. And Dallas now receiving the goalkeeper's pass. Chris Brunt. Oliver Norwood. Stephen Davis. Maybe a bit of a push there. No, the referee continues play. Oh, yeah, but when I trample someone off the ball by accident, it's a foul. Okay. Glick m making his way forward here. It's a bit surprised to see the. Uh, I believe it's a. Ro I believe he plays for Roma in the Serie A. It's a bit surprised to see him go forward. Sakala. It's a bit of a late tackle by Grig, I believe it was. There's going to be another substitution here for Poland. Peshko coming off. And uh, Blaz Joukowsky, the man we all know from Borussia Dortmund, is making his way on. Two Borussia Dortmund men now on the right side of the pitch. Oh no, Blaszkowski playing on the left. Blaszkowski, Kuchowiak could deliver a ball in here. Northern Ireland covering here, making sure Kuchowiak gets no room. Right bus offers himself as an option, and McLaughlin... McLaughlin, sorry, I kind of mispronounced that. Gets it clear. Will Grigg has been fouled here, and it's going to be a yellow for Lanetti, the substitute who's just come on. And Lanetti almost fell over Grigg then. Bit of a bad tackle there, a bit late on Will Grigg, just because he's been on fire. It's going to be the third substitute for Poland here. Judd Lojek, going for Kuchowiak. That's probably not how you pronounce it at all, but that's cool. Baird with a good tackle and Davis and Will Grigg is on fire not quite piss check getting the tackle in it will go for a corner Olive Norwood picking out Will Grigg here oh no a second by the cherry Dallas this time getting ahead of though and it's 2-0 to Northern Ireland Grigg couldn't quite win the header but Norwood got second by the cherry crossing the ball in and Dallas was able to get the header and make it 2-0 here to Northern Ireland. It's just going downhill for Paul. And this is not how they expected the game to go at all. I believe they expected Lewandowski to score one. But now Griggs through. And you know Will Griggs on fire. Oh, but it's saved by Fabianski. And I believe Northern Ireland were willing to let it go for corner. But Glick getting the header and keeping it in for Paul. And Dallas. Evans. McLaughlin, McGinn, oh sorry McGinn, it is actually McGinn, okay I've heard from the uh, commentators now it is actually McGinn, and Chris Brunt, oh my god imagine if that had gone in, imagine if Chris Brunt had scored that, how freaking epic would that have been, Fabianski hasn't been a reliable goalkeeper so far this game, Carroll has been quite good in the Northern Ireland there, he's kept all the shots out so far, he's not let any in. Fabianski's let two easy headers in. Brown with the tackle, but Paul, Poland still have the ball. Evans getting the tackle in once again. McLaughlin now. Baird in the midfield looking to run forward. Lanetti with a good tackle. It's come to Rybus and Judd Lowiek passing it to Milik now. And Lewandowski gets the ball from Lanetti here. Back into the middle. And McCauley looking to clear it. He does. I expected Poland to at least probably... Well, I don't expect Northern Ireland to win, to be honest. But Will Grigg has been on fire and he's uh, given that fire to the rest of his teammates here today. Not quite scored the goal himself, but he's given the rest of that fire to the teammates of his Northern Ireland... Well, that didn't even make sense. He's given the fire to his Northern Ireland teammates, is what I was trying to say, but I kind of got my words mixed up. Will Grigg, though, coming forward. Go try and get that goal. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh no! It's just got worse and worse. Fabianski's completely missed the ball. Sakala, it's an own goal for Poland. It's not been a good day at all, has it? Jesus Christ, it's 3 0 here now to Northern Ireland. And it's still five minutes left. Northern Ireland could still get another goal here. 
Poland's nightmare today has just been capped off by that own goal. They might still try and get one. And Milik does have the ball. Oh, it's a consolation here for Poland. Lewandowski's header hitting the bar. It's come to Lanetti and he's made it 3-1. But that's going to be nothing more than the consolation in this match. But anyway... Yeah, they got one, but that was a beautiful cross. And Lewandowski getting in the header, but it was off the bar. The rebound came in from Linetti, and there was nothing that Northern Ireland could do about that. That was a very, very beautiful cross. 3-1 here to Northern Ireland now. Northern Ireland have got it in the bag, but they don't want to risk letting in any more goals. Davies looking to hold up the ball here. Blaszkowski. Has tackled him here. We've seen one goal here from Poland. I believe that's all that's going to be scored from them today. Northern Ireland have been playing out of their socks today. It still may not be over for goals. Don't pass it back to Fabianski because he might let it in. Offside, Lewandowski there. I thought it was full time, but still 12 seconds on the clock. McCauley trying to get forward, Sakala deciding this time maybe thinking let's not pass it back to Fabianski because he might let it in. But Grisicki, Milik and Piszczek, don't let Milik cross the ball in because these crosses are fucking deadly. Norwood with a brilliant tackle and they've got two minutes injury time here. Not now just looking to play it out of danger and it is full time here at the Stad Velodrome in Marseille. And it's 3-1 to Northern Ireland. Congratulations to Northern Ireland for winning. Will Greg didn't quite get his name on the score sheet, but there's always more games. And if Northern Ireland make it through to the next round, he's maybe got some extra chances to score a goal. But it is 3-1. Chris Baird, I believe it's Chris Baird. I don't know his actual first name. We'll call him Chris Baird. Scoring the first goal in 56 minutes. A nice header. Dallas scoring another header. And uh, then uh, Chicago's own goal was uh, completely Fabianski's fault. Linetti did net a consolation goal three minutes from time following Lewandowski's header off the crossbar and the follow-up from Linetti was uh, unable to be dealt with by Northern Ireland. But it's 3-1 here to Northern Ireland. We're going to see the highlights. The early save from Carroll. We're going to see the first goal now from Baird. Nice little header into the bottom right. Maybe not much. Fabianski could have done about that. But he could have done something about that. And this is something he could have definitely done something about. Sakala trusting Fabianski to control that ball. And he couldn't quite. And then Linetti, there's the consolation goal. We're going to take a quick look at the stats before we end the video. Let me just move the camera slightly. So shots for Northern Ireland are 10 with 7 on target. Poland has 7 with 4 on target. In the end, Poland had more possession and just more tackles. It was pretty even except for the shots. And the shots and the goals, well, they split the game, don't they, really? So whoever gets the goals wins the game in the end. And uh, Northern Ireland got the goals today. And McGinn was the man of the match. Lewandowski with a 5.8, pretty poor from the Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich front man. But, uh, yeah... Wasn't a good day at the office for Poland. It was for Northern Ireland though, a 3-1 victory. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to end the episode off. This has been Let's Play FB Games in match 6 of uh, my Euro 2016 simulation. This is the first match of Group C that we've done. And the next match will also be in Group C. It will be Germany taking on Ukraine. But that's up next. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you next time for whatever I card. Goodbye for now.